and welcome to the video lecture on oscillators using operational amplifier part 1 at the end of this session students will be able to describe the working principle of oscillator and they will be able to describe the working of rc phase shift oscillator so before moving towards the concept you have to know about basics of opam that is ic741 so let us see first what is mean by oscillators oscillator is a circuit which generates the repetitive waveforms of fixed amplitude and frequency without providing any external input there are number of uses of this oscillators like different applications for example the electronic devices uh, like laptop and mobiles use this oscillator to generate the clock signal it can be used in many receivers that mobile or tv receiver to generate the local carrier frequencies and it is also used in signal generators to generate the different kinds of sinusoidal and non sinusoidal waveforms so let us see about this oscillator working principle so oscillator is a type of feedback amplifier in which the positive feedback signal is given at the input from the output block diagram of oscillator which consist of the amplifier let us say its gain is av and the second block is of feedback circuit with the feedback factor beta now we will consider v in is the input voltage vd is the differential voltage vo is the output voltage and vf is the feedback voltage so according to this diagram we can write the equation for differential voltage as vd is equal to v in plus vf that is input voltage plus feedback voltage then we can write the equation for output as V V out is equal to A V into V D. Then the next equation for feedback we can write V F is equal to beta into V out. And we will take the ratio of output and input that is V O upon V in is equal to A V upon one minus A V beta. But it is a oscillator, so we cannot give any external input here. There is no requirement of any external input. So the V in is equal to zero. still it is giving some output voltage there so we will consider v in is equal to 0 and v out is some non zero quantity now putting these values in the above equation we will get av beta is equal to 1 it is, it can be expressed in polar form as av beta is equal to 1 and the phase angle or phase shift is 0 degree or 360 degree so in any kind of oscillator to obtain the sustained waveform oscillations uh, we have to satisfy two points which are called as a barkhausen's criteria so the criteria is the magnitude of the loop gain that is av beta must be at least 1 means the loop gain should be unity and the second is total phase shift in the loop must be equal to 0 degree or 360 degree the oscillators can be uh, categorized Uh, into two types the first type is sinusoidal and second is non sinusoidal basically if the amplifier provides 180 degree phase shift then the feedback circuit should provide the another 180 degree phase shift to make the condition satisfied that the total phase shift should be 0 degree and 360 degree or 360 degree so in sinusoidal oscillators it will generally produce the sine or cosine waves and non sinusoidal oscillator generally produce the waves like square triangular sawtooth tooth etc output of the oscillator depends on the components used in that circuit as well as the oscillation at the output depends on the components used in the feedback circuit so there is no any input voltage externally provided so what will be the input voltage basically is the circuit's noise itself means initially the input is taken from the circuit noise as we provide the input supply so let us see about one of the sinusoidal oscillator which is nothing but the rc phase shift oscillator so we will draw the circuit for rc phase shift oscillator yes so first according to the oscillator block diagram it is the amplifier circuit and it is the feedback circuit so for this amplifier circuit we will use operational amplifier that is ic741 so 
let us draw first the op-am circuit pin number 2 that is inverting terminal pin number 3 is non-inverting terminal so we will provide the supply voltages plus 12 volt minus 12 volt it is at pin number 7 and it is at pin number 4 now pin number 6 is the output voltage we will consider it as a VO this is R in and this is RF that is feedback resistor. So I will use this op-amp in inverting amplifier mode. We have satisfied the amplifier circuit in the oscillator. Now we have to design the feedback circuit in the oscillator design. We have to connect some circuit as a feedback from output and from output to input. I will extend this. So, this is the feedback circuit consist of R and C components. So, it is called as a RC phase shift oscillator. So, here it is feedback circuit and it is the amplifier circuit which is inverting amplifier. This circuit should work on the principle of Barkhausen's criteria. <coughs> so, it should satisfy the two conditions. First is it should take the overall phase shift as 0 degree or 360 degree and the loop gain must be equal to 1. These two conditions should be satisfied here. So, we will see the first condition of phase angle. Now, as it is inverting amplifier, it will give us 180 degree phase shift. So, the remaining 180 degree phase shift should be obtained from this feedback circuit. So, how it is obtained? We will see one. Consider this is single RC stage. So theoretically we can consider it will give the phase shift of 0 degree to 90 degree. So theoretically we will consider the maximum phase shift which is given by the single RC stage. To get the 180 degree we can just use the two RC stages in the circuit instead of three RC stages. But the practical problem is that if we have to use these two RC stages then it is considered that it is giving 90 degree phase shift. So the value of R is nearly equal to 0 and due to this practically gain will be 0 for this feedback circuit and it is not satisfying the criteria. So we will use the three RC stages in the feedback circuit. So single RC stage will give the output with nearly 60 degree phase shift. The output is leading 60 degree because RC circuit is nothing but the phase lead circuit. Now we have to use the three RC stages in the feedback circuit. So here we can consider each stage will give 60 degree phase shift. So after this 180 degree phase shift, 60, 60 and 60 will provide us the total 180 degree phase shift and this total will produce the 0 degree or 360 degree phase shift. Uh, practical circuit will not provide 60 degree at each stage but the overall circuit will give us 180 degree phase shift. So it will fulfill the first condition of Barkhausen's criteria that is the total phase shift is of 0 degree or 360 degree. Now we have to see about the second condition. According to the calculation, we will get the attenuation of 29, means here beta can be written as 1 by 29 and here we have to uh, choose the value of RF and R in such that the gain must be equal to 29 because AV into beta is equal to 1. So here the gain is considered to be 29 and accordingly we can design RF upon R1. So, we will consider the mod value of RF, RF upon R1 is equal to 29. 
सो अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन डिजाइन द वैल्यूज ऑफ आर एफ एंड आर इन सॉरी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन नाउ दिस टू कंडीशंस आर सेटिस्फाइड एट द पर्टिक्युलर फ्रिक्वेंसीज इट इज कॉल्ड एज एफ जीरो सो एफ जीरो इज नथिंग बट द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन एंड द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन कैन बी गिवन एज वन बाय टू पाय रूट सिक्स इंटू आर सी इट इज फॉर थ्री स्टेज आर सी नेटवर्क सो इट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन विच विल गिव अस द सस्टेन्ड ऑसिलेशन आउटपुट दिस आर सी फे शिफ्ट ऑसिलेटर कैन बी यूज इन लो फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंजेस नियरली फाइव हर्ट्स टू वन मेगा हर्ट्स एंड इट इज मोस्टली यूज इन ऑडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंज एप्लीकेशन्स दीज आर द रेफरसेस थैंक यू